Okay, so now we gotta get this out because they don't have the control key to take this core out. So this is a rim cylinder, best locked right here. To get the push bar, I've replaced this push bar before. Drop the screw. Basically, you're gonna have this cap that's gonna sit in here. You're gonna take the two screws out here. And then there's gonna be a screw here, a screw here. I'm gonna take those two screws out and then I drop the push bar down a little bit. It used to sit here, but I drop it down a little bit and I put one screw, so the top screw, I put it in the bottom hole and that'll give me access to the rim cylinder here. To take the rim cylinder out, it's gonna be two screws right here. I already unscrewed them. Now this will come out and this is our rim cylinder here. These tail pieces are cut to length, so make sure when you replace them, you either put the same tail piece that's in there or you replace it and cut it back to length. This is our new rim cylinder, so I'm basically going to just transfer these guys over to here. I'm sorry, I'm going to be transferring this one right here over to this one here. This is not for this door, so. Basically transfer that over, make sure they're the same height, what they are. So this right here is going to be the core. This is our control key. Control key here, all the control key does is move this tab. And then you can insert it into the core. So you need to have a control key to take these out. If you don't, then you need to replace them like I'm doing. So now that locks it in and then the customer will have their key that works it. And this goes in for safekeeping. Okay, now that we got this core, we got it transferred over. That's our new key with our core. We're gonna be sticking it back in there. Okay, now these push bars do have two slots. You'll see one there and one in there. It's hard. There you go. So this is gonna go in the uh, this is gonna go in the bottom one here because this one has a screw in it to keep it from turning. So it's gonna go in the bottom one. You're gonna line that up with the tailpiece right here. Okay, after you put your two screws and your cap back on, shut the door and double check it. This is called a star wheel push bar because it uses a star wheel. That's how it locks. So if this shuts, this door should remain locked. You're gonna use a key, turn it to the left, and now this door will open. And if you want the door open at all times, then you need to dog bone the push bar with an Allen key.